As a game dev, I spend ages either modeling assets myself or trying to find and match together different asset packs. But with this new tool, I can literally speedrun that part with no issue. Let me show you how by speedrunning the creation of a minigame. Okay, so what game are we making? Well, I was thinking a Wild West themed simple first person shooter. For this, I need a cool Wild West environment and a first person shooter system. My idea is that the player won't move, but just turns on himself and shoots some kind of target placed around him. For the targets, I'm thinking the classic glass bottles. Now, usually you shouldn't start with the visuals, but I'm a sucker for cool looking graphics. So that's what I'm going to start with. For this, I'm using our tool called Sloyd and simply ask the built-in AI to make a Wild West building. Then I do some little tweaks and that's basically it. Now I just click the download button. This took me like 30 seconds. Then I repeat the process four more times to have some variety in my buildings. However, these buildings aren't quite ready yet. I do need some texturing work done, but since I'll be using the same texture for all of them, this is basically just a one-time process. All in all, it took me about 10 minutes to generate and texture all these buildings. Now let's move on to the game engine where we can pop these assets right in. And this already looks quite cool. I then make a quick gun using Sloyd again and a shooting mechanic by simply spawning a projectile at the end of the barrel. Now to the glass bottles. Mechanics wise, this again is fairly simple. I created a spawning strip that moves the bottle to another preset location every time you successfully shoot it. I also reused the shader I made for another game, which gives the bottle a nice shiny white outline. Last but not least, we gamify the game loop by making the player get points every time he hits a bottle. And we add a 30 second timer so that the player is encouraged to try and break as many bottles as possible. And that's it. A very simple game done in about five hours. If you're interested in Sloyd, you either check it out with the link in the description or watch this video here that explains how Sloyd works exactly. 